Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. I have filmed a bunch of stuff today and it was all boring as hell. So I got rid of it and decided to just do a quick video sitting here in the studio to just show you some of the loot that I got. I have told you that I was getting stuff, you know, I'm always getting stuff, but you know, it's been coming in a little bit every day. So yesterday I got the Suray AM223 carbon fiber mini tripod. As mini as this thing is, and it's pretty light, I haven't weighed it. I gotta shut the screen because I keep looking at it. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's complete. It came with the ball head and I don't know, some people, I saw one guy who complained about it and he had a, he had an issue with it, but it works fantastic. It's, it's very tight, giggity, and it holds up the A7 IV with the 16 to 35 G Master on it, no problems. One of the things that I don't like is that when you first open it up into this little form factor, it's the, like the legs just don't quite go out wide enough. If they went out like, I don't know, even another inch, it would be great. But you, then at that point you have to, like you have to pull this little piece out and then it is a little bit too low. So, you know, six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. Too low or a little bit too wide. So I like it if it were just a little bit more because I'm kind of teetering on everything tipping over uh, just because of the way that this is set up with all the plates and everything. Mm, not perfect, but not bad. I mean, it hasn't tipped over. It came close one time, but that was just because I had it sitting on an uneven surface. But that wouldn't have happened if it spread out just a little bit more. But okay, I digress. So yeah, this adds a little bit of weight though to the whole setup, but that's okay. As with everything, I'll get used to it. I mean, I used to vlog like this with a GoPro. You know, I got used to that. I used to vlog with a ZV-1. I used to vlog with an A6600, you know, on and on and on until I ended up getting the A7C. And then after I got the A7C, I got this A7 IV and that was an adjustment. And then I just got used to it. So now this, this will help keep things sturdy. Now, one of the reasons that I really like it is because, I mean, you can, you can go out pretty far now. And unlike the little, that really small Ulanzi carbon fiber tripod that I have, that I would never hold it like this and have my camera out because they feel like they would snap almost immediately. I always felt like it just wasn't, it just wasn't made to handle the weight of anything. This, if I extended it out like this, I wouldn't have any reservations whatsoever about holding it out. Now, the other thing is that this ball head can be obviously removed and I can take that extension that I got for my bigger Suray carbon fiber tripod that I keep in the Forerunner. I took the center column off because it was just a pain in the ass to carry around. But I mean, I could put that on here as well because apparently that's just the catch all center column for, for all of their stuff. But either way, it's very easy. Now I just close it. You know, it's like any other tripod that has those little little twisty things. There, done. So that's it. I like this, monkey seal of approval. Next, today I got in the Freewell ND filters for the 360 module. All the way, I don't know if I actually showed you this, but this was that, that Peter McKinnon extra case that I bought for the nomadic bag, the Peter McKinnon nomadic bag. And I couldn't, I didn't really have anything to do with it. I just wanted to have an extra bag. And so I did this. I made it into my Insta360 uh, pouch. So I have the old 1R in here. In here I have uh, the 4K boost and the 360 module. And then I have all my batteries, the charger and audio adapter and a couple of cards. So I'm good to go there. Excuse me while I whip this out. So yeah, this just is, is gonna go over. I'll have to figure out how. I'm not gonna play with this right now because I'll look like a complete idiot while I'm sitting here like thumbing around with it, but it does go on this module and it should be good to go. I don't think it's any different than the than the covers that I had for it at one point, but then I just put on this little rubber thing that, that came with it. So yeah, that's what I got today. Now on Monday, I will get the ND filter for the one inch module. That's what's coming Monday. That being said, that's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.